I'm sorry, man. This has to be addressed. I keep on having people telling me that there's fanboys in the wrestling world that are saying this was not a burial. Now, there's no... Are people trolling me or something? There's no way. There's human beings walking this earth that are saying theory was not buried. Come on, man. You can't be this fucking stupid. I don't care if you hate Vince. I don't care if you love Vince. I don't care if you hate Triple H. I don't care if you love Triple H. This is like... Bruh, my old mother would say this was a fucking burial. You don't gotta be a fanboy of pro wrestling to watch that and say, bro, this was a fucking burial. Like, he looked fucking stupid. Now, I'm gonna say it again. There's no way in hell there's people walking this earth that are saying this was not a burial. My God, man. See, this is this is why there's a lot of people that are not making professional wrestling videos. Because there's too many stupid, dumbass people who watch pro wrestling. Like, I don't... It's mind-blowing to me, man. Do you hate Vince McMahon that much to give Triple H the benefit of the fucking doubt? My God, man, we, we have to stop. We got to keep that same energy, man. Only reason you're saying Theory was not bare because it's fucking Triple H. You know why? He is a Vince McMahon guy. Look, Austin was a Vince guy, right? So, of course, you were not going to say this wasn't no burial. Bro, this, this was a fucking burial. Once again, you got to keep that same energy. And here is why. Okay. Let's just say, I don't know, Johnny G or uh, Chompa or Adam Coleslaw, especially Adam Coleslaw. Let's add him into this conversation. Let's say he let's let's say he never left. Let's say Adam Coleslaw was on Raw, and let's say Adam Coleslaw was the winner of the money in the fucking bank let me say his name again what if Adam Coleslaw was the winner of the money in the bank and what happened to Theory happened to Adam Coleslaw how would you fucking feel huh you fucking dumbasses how would you fucking feel huh what if your precious Adam Coleslaw was the cash in on Seth Rollins, a mid card champion, and get embarrassed, get fucked up by Lashley in the fucking process. What if that was Adam Coleslaw? Do you get it now? You see the fucking hypocrisy here? You just hate theory. You just hate Vince McMahon, any Vince McMahon guy you fucking hate. That's all. You're saying Fury is going to recover. No, he is not. He is going to have to leave this company. I'm never going to take him seriously ever again. Guess what? I'm a fan of Fury. But facts are the facts. Huh? The fuck? Look. You can make an argument. This was worse than Kofi versus Brock Lesnar. Right? Look, Kofi Kingston has never recovered since being buried by Brock Lesnar. He hasn't recovered since. In fact, Kofi is going to have to be a tag team guy for the rest of his career. He can never be a he, he can never go back to being a singles guy ever again. The fans will never take him seriously. Too many fans of Perestly have a great memory. Every time we see Kofi in a one-on-one -on -one match, we think Brock Lesnar. Eight fucking seconds. Look at, uh, what's his name? Sandow. Look at, uh, Baron Corbin. Look at Otis. 
tons of guys have failed with that briefcase and they have never recovered. But, like I said, theory has been booked like shit since Triple H has been in charge. That is not a fucking coincidence. Right? Look, this ain't no damn storyline. This ain't no work. That was a burial. Triple H did not want this kid with that fucking briefcase. Okay, it's over for this kid. This would not be a storyline between Theory and Triple H. There was somebody that told me, hey, what if this might be a storyline? Huh? This is somebody told me what if this might be a storyline between Triple H and Theory. Somebody said Theory is gonna cut a promo saying Triple H has been out for me since day one. Uh, no, bro, no, 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 no. Triple H is done. Triple H will no longer be a part of storylines. That's over. Do you do you know why? He is he is retired. So what would the upside be between a few between Theory and Triple H? Triple H is done with wrestling in a in a fucking ring, so get that out your fucking head. There's no way Theory is going to shoot a promo on Triple H about how Triple H has been out to get him. That's not going to happen. They will never have a on-screen feud, ever. That's never going to happen. This ain't no storyline. Triple H does not like this kid. Once I seen him get beat by Johnny Gargano, Johnny G, a fucking Triple H guy. Where do you think his career is going to go now? He got beat by Johnny fucking Gargano? That shocked me. Because I'm saying to myself, okay, um, why is the current Money in the Bank winner booked as a loser? Shouldn't he be on a fucking streak? Shouldn't he be booked strong to make people take him seriously as a potential world champion, right? I'm like, okay, why is he being booked like a, like a fucking loser? But the point is, what if that happened to Keith Lee under Vince McMahon's watch? What if Vince McMahon did that to Adam Coleslaw on Raw? How'd you feel? Would you say that was no burial? No, you would say Vince McMahon needs to step down. Vince McMahon needs to be stripped of power. Come on, man. I keep my same energy. When it comes to how I feel about pro wrestling, I'm never fucking wrong. Um, I think last month I made it, I made it, I made a video, right? Last month, I made a video about the current state of NXT. And I said that I did not like the pair between Miss Lions and, and uh, fucking um, Starks, right? I didn't like that tag team. I, I'm, like, I'm like, bro, they are not a fucking tag team. Why are they together? I said, look, either Miss Lions is being, is being fucking sabotaged or Zoe Starks will turn heel. That's what I said last month. Go, go fucking check it out. I said, there's only two ways out of this. Zoe Starks, she has to turn heel on Miss Lyons, or Miss Lyons is being fucking sabotaged. And what do you know? I watched last night on NXT, I saw that Zoe Starks turn heel on Miss Lyons. I was the only one who called that out last month. I said, this is a fucking sabotage on Miss Lyons or Zoe Starks will turn heel. And what do you know? She turned heel on Miss Lyons. So now I think Starks has huge upside now. Because look, Zoe Starks is not hot. She ain't sexy. She ain't hot whatsoever. So I figured she would make a great heel, right? Her job should be to beat up on all the hot divas. 
that should be her job. She should be that kind of ill. She should be like a uh, jazz and fucking um, Luna. Luna and jazz. That should be Zoe Starks. So now I think she has huge upside now. So now I don't feel like Miss Lyons has been sabotaged. Because now they saved her career by having Starks turn heel on her. And I was the only one who called that out last month. I said, they have to go down that route. Zoe Starks, she has to turn heel on Miss Lyons. And guess what? She did the fucking following month. But the point is, dog, like, you don't understand the fucking hypocrisy to say Austin Theory ain't buried. Like, what are you, like, what are you talking about? Who does a cash in on a mid card title? Like, huh? Make that make fucking sense. And, and look, it would have been just as dumb if he would have cashed in on Braun Breaker. Bro, look, you have to use your fucking head. Nobody watches fucking NXT. Not, 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 not more than Raw, right? Um, when it comes to the history of pro wrestling, if you are a fan like me, who watched WCW, you are a you are a fucking dumbass. If you if you would want to be the fucking champion of NXT over being a U.S. champion, are you are you sick? Dog, when it comes to NXT, that is a minor league title. That is a farm system title. That is a developmental title. It doesn't mean shit. Literally. It's not more prestigious than a U.S. title. So, I had no problem with, with Theory cashing in over being... A champion down in NXT. Why? Uh, because you are on the main roster. You have more eyes if you are a mid card champion on the main roster. Hell, I feel like the title down in NXT. That's a fucking mid card title. Shit, like dog. Nobody watches that fucking show. So that's worse. Dog. I would rather be a U.S. champion over being a champion down in NXT. That's like common sense, bro. Huh? Like what? Dog, legends have held that title. Booker T, Goldberg, Rick, Rick, uh, Rick fucking Flair, Rick Rude. The list goes on and on. I want to be a U.S. champion, dog. So I have, I have no problem with that. But the point is... He should have never cashed in on a mid guard title in the fucking first place. That's a barrier because that makes him seem like he's a fucking idiot. That makes him seem like he's like he's dumb. <laughs> like, look, people would never take this kid seriously. Look, what's next for Theory? Look, man, either he needs to go back down to to a fucking XT, right? Either go back down to NXT or he has to be off TV for like months and months and months or bro he needs to take his ass to all elite wrestling because Triple H does not like this kid that's like proof he don't like theory now look I don't look I don't give a fuck what anybody says there's no wet hell when it comes to Tony Khan, he would not bury Theory. There's no way in hell he would bury Theory. Not somebody who has that kind of look, that that age, no fucking way. I'm sure Theory will be used every fucking week on Dynamite based on his work and his look. There's no way in hell Theory would be a fucking jobber. I think Khan would use him better, way better than uh, fucking um, H. But the point is, you can't tell me with a, with a fucking straight face. 
If this McMahon did that to Adam Coleslaw last Monday, how would you feel though, bro? I need comments. I need more comments about, about this. How'd you feel? If Vince did that to fucking Johnny Gargano. Huh? How the fuck how how would you feel? Would you say, oh no, that that ain't no burial? No, you would say that's a that's a fucking burial. No nah, man, fuck you. That's all. Fuck you. Oh, shit, shit, bitch. What happened to Theory was a huge barrier. He he could never recover unless he, unless he goes away for a very very long time. What top guy, what future star of a company does that? Okay. Hmm. What if Randy Orton did what Austin Theory did at his age? Where would Orton be at right now? Nowhere. Because that shit stains your career for, for a very, very long time. When you fill a cash in, especially at that level, that was the worst cash in in wrestling history. And you think Theory is safe? No, he ain't, he ain't safe. Triple H does not like this kid. He ain't safe. But the fucking point is, man, you saw what this man did to Cross last year, right? Right? Remember he put him, he put him in that dumbass costume? People thought that was a barrier. You saw what Vince, you saw what Vince did to Keith Lee? Y'all thought that was a barrier. Okay, but by your logic, Triple H does this to Austin Theory. You're saying that's not a burial. Um, wait a minute. Didn't Cross lose his fucking debut match against Jeff Hardy? And you, you said that was a burial. Okay, how come this ain't a burial? Did Cross recover? No. <laughs> Cross did not recover from that loss against Jeff Hardy. Right? But the point is, man, is like there's so many people I can use as, as an example. Right? Like, what if Keith Lee was the money in a bank winner and he cashed in on Seth Rollins and he had to have it to him? How would you feel? Seth Rollins cashed in on a Intercontinental Championship at WrestleMania. How would his career look right now? Huh? How? How would Dolph Ziggler look if he cashed in on a Intercontinental Champion and not Alberto Del Rio? How would you feel? See what I'm saying? All you Triple H cocksuckers are just awful people. It's like, bro, you can't hate Vince this bad to overlook dumb booking. You can't overcome dumb booking. It takes years, man. It takes years to get over this. And look, if Triple H did that to that kid this time, he is going to keep on doing it multiple, multiple, multiple times. This was not a isolated Thing. This was big. Um, people, he cashed in on a mid card title. And dog, clearly, when you are the money in the bank winner, you, you look, you do have the right to cash in on any title. That says it. That says it in the contract. You can cash in on on any title. It don't matter, but dog, common sense. You go after the fucking world title. You know why? They make the most money. Ding, 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 ding. This is why Fury looks like a damn jackass. World champions make the most money. Mick Carters don't. So yes, he is buried. But 
I'm gonna say it again, bro. What if Vince McMahon did that to one of your favorites from the black and gold brand, dog? Would you have this same energy? Would 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 you say this ain't no burial? No, you would you would want Vince McMahon's head for this. Hell, y'all was crying over how he did cross. So let that sink in. This man put look, y'all was crying because this man put Keith Lee's fat ass in a in a damn singlet. Huh? Y'all was y'all was crying because he he buried the fiend. Look, at the end of the day, if Vince McMahon would have made Adam Coleslaw fail a cash in in that same way on Raw against Seth Rollins, you fucking idiots would not have that same energy like you were having for Triple H by giving him a hall pass by saying this was not a burial. <laughs> Bruh, I love calling out all the hypocrisy because there's no way in hell you would let Vince Man get a fucking hall pass. You didn't give Vince a hall pass when he named Keith Lee a fucking Bearcat. So why does Triple H get the benefit of the fucking doubt? Theory is done. He will never be a money and bank winner ever again. I would be shocked if he ever touches that fucking case ever again. Look, like I said, man, they, sh they should get rid of that fucking briefcase. Why have it? Just get rid of it. It's, look, that shit is fucking embarrassing. Theory was better off just being pinned by Roman. Like, bro, Theory was better off going to Saudi Arabia to fill a cash in against Reigns. Because at least he was going for the world title. Z, do you see my point now? This was like uncalled for. Why couldn't Theory just travel to Saudi Arabia? It's like you have a failure. You, you, you have him fill a cash in on Raw, but not at Crown Jewel. So you fucking fly out Bray Wyatt to cut a pointless going nowhere promo as usual, right? You fly his ass out to cut a worthless promo that means shit, but not Theory? Dog, oh, Theory could have just... <laughs> Fury could have just fucking flown out there to fill a cash in, bro. And we wouldn't be here. So, look. People would have gave him a hall pass if he failed against Reigns. Because, like, okay, look, look. We all know he was not cashing in on Reigns and, and, um, and um beat him. No, of course not. Of course not. Look, he was not going to beat Reigns. So you might as well just get it out the way, have him fail against Reigns, then we can finally move on. But this put a, this puts a black eye on his career forever. YouTube is forever. This fail cash in will be a black eye for the rest of his life. It's sad too because he's still he's still young. So much promise, so much potential is gone now. I'm a fan of him, but I will never take him seriously ever again. This is, uh, uh, I'm done.